Welcome back to Carolina Vaughn Homestead. Uh, today I'm going to be going over cleaning my little birder box out. Um, about time for them to be moved out. They're starting to make a mess quicker. Um, something else I'm going to try to start doing is each video I make, I'm going to take a smaller channel's page that's trying to grow just like me and I'm going to give them a shout out and maybe the people that I got will check them out and like what they got. And today I'm going to do the Money Pit Homestead. I watched their videos. They got good content on there. So uh, you get a chance to check them out, subscribe to them, like them, and do all that good stuff. But uh, first I'm going to get you to uh, in there where you can see it. So give me a second on that. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see me or not, but I took one of my kids' diapers box and just cut the corner out. That's why I'm using that as a little scoop for this. Let's see if we can get this stuff out without the quill jumping out. I had 15 in here. I lost two of them. Oh no. Okay, well that's unfortunate. I have a, another one that apparently got stuck. That's not good. That's not good. But, uh, let's see, two, three, four. Well, I must add 16 because I still have 15. I guess whenever I put the uh, the feeder back in there, one ran up underneath of it. And the way this is, it goes up in there. So that is very unfortunate. I'm gonna have to pay more real close attention to that. These things are so small and fast. I never knew it was underneath of it. I would hate that. Anyways, let's go ahead and see the stuff it makes, the water and the whole mixture. It's just pretty nasty. I'm going to put this in there. Get it scraped off into the garbage can. Yeah. Probably should have waited to take a shower this morning before I got in here and messed with this. But I'm pressed for time today. Two of my kids have doctor's appointments. So I'm trying to get stuff done as quick as possible. I still gotta go get feed for the rest of the animals. Yeah, this little corner of a box works great for this. Just dig it in there and scrape it on down and scoops it up. Yeah, this, this stuff is, it gets stinking quick. I've got some more eggs ordered. Uh, so we'll be doing another another round hopefully I'll have a better turnout this is the first time I've ever done quill so I'm pretty excited to see if I can do it a little bit 
better the next time. I've seen a bunch of different things to try to increase your hatch rate. And I'm gonna try some of them, or try the one of them. Which we'll, I'll show that on the video. I'll tell you what, these things, like they, they, don't, they don't understand the concept of what's going on here. So I can tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I got uh, three kids, a great wife, my two little girls, and uh, for one we have to go to college, so she ain't little no more. But she'll be 18 in July, and then I got a little girl who's about to be two years old in July, and then my son is about to be three in March. My littlest girl, she has a syndrome called the William syndrome, and uh, yeah, do a little bit of look it up and check it out. And my my oldest daughter, she's gonna be going to uh, Western Carolina. She's taking uh, I think criminology. My son, he just, he loves to dance and watch YouTube and comes in here and talks to the animals and watch out, baby. My wife, she's more into the, uh, she's into the office setting. And I wish I could just do this kind of stuff full time, but fortunately I've got a work at a regular job still but uh, I'm into the insurance business and uh, so I gotta be out there knocking on doors helping people uh, the majority of my clients are seniors and I, I try to go help the ones that are low income try to save them money because the sad part of everything is when growing up and everything they're talking about uh, when you retire you know you're gonna go on vacation and all this but the sad part is that might be one percent of them people are doing that and the rest of them are deciding that they're gonna eat or take their medicines or buy their medicines whether they're gonna buy groceries or medicines and uh, so I'm out there trying to help people do that so one of the good things about my job is every time I help somebody, it makes you feel good when you come home from work versus being in a, a mill or a factory or something like that where it's just, it gets depressing. You're doing the same thing every day, every day. And uh, if I can help it, I won't never be back in that factory because no one likes being depressed. Depression ain't, a, ain't no joke. Alright, I think I got most of the, the nasty out of there. Alright. So I got this bag of... It's called... Regal Downs Premium Quality Bedding. And it's... Uh, kiln dried. Um, like pine shavings. That's well. Hopefully that zoomed in. I don't have one of the cameras where I can see what it looks like. And uh, it'd be cool if I did, but I don't. Man, that's really sad about that that quail, but it happens. It was an honest mistake.
And I don't think I'm gonna put as much pine needles in, or not pine needles, but pine shavings in there this time. To see if that, cause I'm, hopefully I'll have that uh, rabbit hutch I'm gonna convert into a uh, a quail hutch done by this, this weekend and I can get them out of here and get this all cleaned up and uh, ready for the next batch of them. Uh, other than that, I'm just gonna clean out the the trays and I'm gonna show you how I got the plate in there try to keep the, the stuff out of there but when I get to that part I'll just click y'all back on and uh, be right back. Alright, so, see I just have it setting up on the saucer, because if the edge of this, these pine shavings touches this water, it, it'll drain that thing quickly. Like I could clean it, and then this evening I'd come back and it'd all be wet, and it would be stinking so bad. But now I just need to go get them some, uh, some feed, and I reckon I'll show you what kind of feed that we get that we're using these starters I'll go ahead and get this bag I opened it upside down so this is what we're using the choice of top breeders and trainers quicker urine absorption so that's probably why it's absorbing that water when it touches it as good as it does but uh, let me walk out here to the, the feed and get back to you. Okay, so this is the feed we're using. It's, uh, we get it from Southern States. <clears throat> well, but it's a specialty frog feed. And it is, I believe it's 28% protein in it. And it's, it's just a crumble. I thought I had a cup out here, but I need to go back in to get one. Alright everybody, thanks again for watching. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, like it, and ring the bell for you to get more of my videos. Until next time.